Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode 12 of the Squirtle Squadcast. Apologies for not having an episode for a while. We've all been getting back to school slash work slash other things, and we have had a lot of time commitments. I'm sure you all understand that. We're on the same boat. Except, like, some people go to school way earlier than others. Poor people in high school where I lived. Anyway, um, today our cast of loony characters is myself, Nick, a.k.a. Majora's fan, and we're joined by Jossum, Marissa, Anthony, and Zach. Yeah, school slash work slash things. Yeah, it's, uh, it's always a slight adjustment to go back. I've always had the feeling that when I do uh, summer, I... I, I love it. I really need the break. But by the last month or so, I'm kind of ready to go back. I have friends up at campus. I have things I need to be doing. And it's pretty slow if I don't go to school, honestly, by the end. I've done a lot of the things I want to do. So, um, I'm I was glad running I went into back. the same thing, actually, especially because all of you guys went back to school probably like a week before I did. <laughs> so it was just this week of me sitting around being like, man, like, I really wish there were like people around yeah that, well that's what happened to me i mean john is still a lot back in school and he was like asked what? me this morning he's like hey does he can go we back just... after labor day yeah he goes back after labor day mm. but okay. he was like hey dude do you just want to play starbound all day and i'm like i've been in school for three weeks john <laughs> <laughs> I, can't... <laughs> I can't play starbound until like christmas break <laughs> basically that's yeah. too funny yeah, yeah, like, the people in high school where uh, where I live went back whew, really early, like, uh, the second week of August or something like that. They were already mm. back. Sounded horrible. They got out early, I think, in the s- summer. But, yeah, they went really back the second week of early. August. Um, they were near when I got out, like, near the middle end of May, I think. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's really early for high school. Yeah, it is, so. But then they also... But yeah, <laughs> they weren't happy about it now. But I didn't go back until, I guess, is this the second week I'm back or the third week? Let me look at the calendar. It's the um, third week, I think, because you went back the week before I did, and I'm going into my second week. Yep, you're right. Um, <laughs> yep, the calendar proves it. So, yes, this is my third week back. Um, yeah, it's, it's been nice to be bad. back. My class schedule's been pretty light oh i have 15 hours but the way i scheduled it it's not too bad except for two days so yeah that's been my story really um anyone else uh well everyone else really has a similar story uh what's been going on with you all well you Uh, and jossam are seniors how's that going or is it different in canada i don't know (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I'm in my final year. It's okay, okay. I guess. You know, I had three days of lecturing so far, and let me see. I think I care a lot less right now than I ever have. <laughs> like yeah. The first day of like taking heavy notes, I just sat there drinking my coffee, nodding and giggling every like 20 minutes, making you sound like I'm paying attention, but I'm actually not, so... <laughs> <laughs> so fascinating. <laughs> well, I mean, that's, that's my deal with uh, university, though. I really hate how, like, the first month you do absolutely nothing, and then suddenly it's just, like, three midterms on the same day. Yeah. Yeah, I can identify with that. Um, I understand bo- 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 both of those very well, because right now, being a senior, yeah, I'm just sitting back. Uh, I have classes two days a week. Um Tuesdays aren't very fun, though, because I, like, I have a bad habit of when I have, like, 20, 30 minutes of a break that's not long enough to do anything substantive, but it's also not short enough to just hang around for me because I get bored. So then I go back to my room, and then I don't want to go to class, so I end up, like, skipping or something. That happened a lot freshman and sophomore year. So ever since then, I try to schedule my classes back-to-back so I don't feel like that. And this year, I also wanted to have a few free days. Well, I made a... what I call the gauntlet. I had a similar, I had something I called a gauntlet last year. No, that's a joke now. My current gauntlet is I have my capstone class from 9.30 to 10.45. Then I have a class from 11 to 
15. Then 12.30 to 1.45, I have environmental politics. And then 2 to 3.15, I have uh, Spanish. Then I have a break to eat. And then on Tuesdays from 4 to 6.30, I also have one final class. On Thursdays, I'm done at 3.15. So, so like, wait, you have... <laughs> You are, are all of those like three hour five classes days a week yeah. classes? No, no, Tuesday only. Tuesday, oh, Thursday, oh. and then the four to six thirty is only Tuesday. So like Tuesdays and Thursdays are really long for me and I'm tired on them. But like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I do not have class normally. So five out of the seven days of the week I'm free. Which is really nice, oh. but it's also tough when right. I do have class. So unfortunately <laughs> for me, like Labor Day tomorrow means nothing because I already schedule it so I'm free anyway. So I'm just going to do what I normally do. You My schedule um, is very similar to yours and there's respect that all my classes are basically in a giant block yeah but my blocks monday wednesday friday so i have tuesdays and thursdays off mm. yeah i uh i would have probably gone for that one if i could have because the classes themselves are shorter on monday wednesday friday but i couldn't all the classes like it just sort of fell into place like three of them were on tuesdays thursdays and i thought well i might as well make the other two on it as well <laughs> and did that but um yeah, so right now I have a lot of free time because, like, I get my homework done. Usually I have assignments due on Tuesday, so I get my homework done, like, I had it all done yesterday. I have, like, one assignment still to do, and I'm going to do that later today. Then I'm just free tomorrow, and then I have classes again. But the only problem is, yeah, I know when midterms come, like, those days are going to be really long because I'll probably have all my test back to back <laughs> so that'll be a fun day but yeah, that's that's gonna be hell um yeah no my schedule is kind of similar except like i just have one class on on wednesdays and fridays and then mondays and tuesdays I have like a three-hour lab mm. it's like tuesday thursday start at end till like six Eesh. but i have like an hour or two hours in between each class yeah <laughs> so uh. it's like Eight to nine twenty, and then I have like a twelve thirty to twelve thirty to two, and then I have like a four to six lab, or like the four to six lecture. That does not sound I'm, fun either. <laughs> I mean, my my uh, schedule for last semester was kind of similar in that like my Tuesdays Thursdays were super long, but I did have one class on Monday, Wednesday, Friday because I feel like if I don't have something to like sort of keep my interest in like education and keep my motivation going that I really burn out in all of those like off days so like I have Fridays off this semester which is kind of nice but it's not like too much time off like my Monday when Tuesday Wednesday Thursday are like pretty consistent in terms of like activity and not just like there's nothing today because I get all like I'm just gonna sit around and watch Netflix fair enough but I and Netflix and chill <laughs> oh god uh, <laughs> I, I... I don't think you toggle Netflix and chill by yourself <laughs> you can Speak. well I'm not gonna That's go there you think. yeah yeah <laughs> Trust me, I bought bags of chips, Jolly Ranchers, candy. I can chill as much as I want. I uh, still, like, have a dozen cookies that I have baked at home just sitting here, just, like, eating them slowly because I baked, like, four dozen. How do you oh. not eat them all in one day, though? I mean, that's... Because I, I ate... Just... No, because I made what so many that I can't. What are they in one day? I could do oh. that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I'm... I've actually realized coming back to college is I keep forgetting I always gain back weight. Like, I dropped down a lot of weight and then I gained 15 pounds the first week and I was like okay this has got to stop because every year I do that so I've actually go I'm going to restrict myself I'm not going to buy any more chips than I already have so this semester I'm not I'm going to go without chips and it'll be really hard for me <laughs> so Josh, keep me in your thoughts you but uh <laughs> <laughs> no um, chips <laughs> I've decided instead to curb my hunger. I'm going to buy saltine crackers, which are a lot less unhealthy. I mean, they're they're not as uh, bad for not me. Not a lot less. But... Less. <laughs> that's what's important. I can't just buy like I don't know what else I'd get. I'm running out of ideas. So like celery. Uh, maybe, maybe, <laughs> they don't maybe sell that at the seed store. <laughs> I could exercise, but that's out, not in me. <laughs> I don't have. Don't believe blue beans. Got green beans. I would. Oh my god, if they sold like green beans and stuff at the campus store. Because see, um, 
I have 15 meals a week, right? And I can it's spend... Like grocery around you? Oh, there is, but, like, I'm broke. So what I do with my money, the reason I get all these things is because the way the university works is we have 15 meals a week, or at least my plan has so it. Then you have, like, a la carte credits? Yeah, it's like credits. Like, yeah. if I go to the cafeteria, it costs a we meal. But if I go to the yeah. campus store, $6 is worth one meal. So I always spend, oh. like, 10-ish meals a week because dinner, like, late-night dinner is free for some reason on Monday through Thursday. So I take advantage of that. And then I have, like, usually five meals left every week. So that's, like, 30 bucks worth on the store every week I can spend. So, um... Uh, I just buy what's there. But unfortunately, it's kind of like a 7-Eleven with less selection. So I can't, like, if I could buy fruit and stuff, I totally would. But they don't really have it. They have, like, frozen food, which I don't have a freezer. And they have, like, non-perishables. So I buy non-perishables. I'm just, yeah. like, in in sort of, like, a state of shock that they're allowing people i mean like i guess they're like oh we're adults now you can make your own decisions but you could literally buy 15 meals worth so like a lot of money's worth of just like jolly ranchers and eat nothing of substance like kids could die (laughs) they could they they don't but (laughs) as far as i know I mean, I I do buy a lot worth of Jolly Ranchers. I Right now in my, let me open my thing, I have five in my drawer, and I've only spent two weeks worth of money, right? So, and that was buying chips and other things, too, so I'm stocking up. I actually bought the last few this past week, so they're going to, they better get more in. If not, I'm going to fall apart. Now, um, I I wish they had more Instead of putting down on chips, I think you should probably cut down on on your Jolly Ranchers intake. No, honestly, the Jolly Ranchers, I don't know how bad they are for you. Let me look. But, like, let's see. It has, like... Oh, they're pure sugar. Yeah, 11 grams of sugar. But the good news is they're only 70 calories. Um, so... Wait, how how many? All right, that's three pieces is 11 grams. So they're, they're about... A little less than four grams a piece. The good news is I uh, I eat them only usually on my classes because Tuesday and Thursday, like I said, I like have no breaks from nine thirty to three fifteen. So my plan lately has been to bring about three or four Jolly Ranchers with me and eat one a class. That way I don't like die of hunger because I get really hungry at about one o'clock. So that way I, it curbs my hunger and then I go eat when I get out of class. But, um, no, I can eat, like, a whole bag of chips if I just sit here doing nothing when I'm bored on my computer, so that's the one I'm more worried about. Now, if I'm still gaining weight after I cut back on the chips, then you're probably right, it's the Jolly Ranchers, and I don't know what I'm gonna do, but, uh... When my parents went to college, like, whatever, however many years ago, like, 30 years ago, their thing... That was, like, yeah, like a billion years ago. Um, no. uh, the thing that was really bad for them was soda. Like, they'd drink a lot of not-diet soda and, like, just gain so much weight from them and their friends just drinking, like, 64 ounces of Mountain Dew, like, every other day kind yeah. of thing. I used to do that the first few years. I have since cut back. I only drink water now, and that helped me a lot, but that was a bad thing early on because I'm glad I didn't go to to WVU because they had actually an IC machine in one of the cafeterias, so I just wouldn't have been able to resist. I would have had to go in it. Yeah, I went up there for like a... I have an IC machine in white... I, I was amazed, too. And that's why every meal, those three weeks when I went up there, I got an icy with it, no matter what oh I was eating. God. So I sure gained weight there, too, but uh, it was fine. I accepted oh. the loss. Wow. That's next that's level. Machine. Yeah. It was intense. I wish we had one here. Well, Did maybe not. Did you just not. ask, what's an icy machine? Yes. All right. You know, like, uh, the Slurpee, Slurpees at 7-Eleven and stuff? Sure. They have 7-Elevens in Canada? I don't know. I assume. They don't know. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yep. oh isn't uh, there some other name for them? Like, like a like... gas station or like a convenience store? I'm going to Google oh, yeah, Icy yeah. and I'm going to send you... Know, like a, you know like a slushy though? Like the little tiny ice flakes? It's that, but like coca this awesome. or something. That... No, not Coke. I always get like cherry or blue raspberry. But... <laughs> blue raspberry... Yeah. Oh, those slushies? Those yes, those. Yeah. yeah, they had a machine for that at, at the... Gotcha. Yeah, it was great. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I was very happy. 
coldest That's... drink in town. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah. So depending on which, like the ones at Seven Eleven, I don't get brain freeze from. But even in the middle of winter, sometimes I get some, and like that's not Ooh. usually a good idea. But I like mm, them too. Much. <laughs> because I like them, <laughs> they're really tasty. So I mean, it doesn't really. The reason why Patrick O'Hula and Ch- drinks his own urine and dodgeball, the underdog story. Fair what? enough. I mean, I'd say it's slightly different on my case, but, I mean, we could argue that point, I guess. Uh, Well, I mean, the thing about Slurpees or Icy's or any sort of cold thing is it doesn't really matter if you, what season it is, if the indoors is not cold. Like, if it's 40 degrees inside because you have no heat or something, then that's a terrible idea. But if, like, you have, like, heating, it's, like, you know, at least 70 degrees, like, who cares? Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't really matter. It's not like you're gonna like go outside and like get your tongue stuck to the straw or whatever because it's like snowing. I mean, you might, but (laughs) well, I'm I'm a regular university student. I just drink four cups of coffee a day. Yeah, that's pretty standard. And if I don't drink four, I just like pop a caffeine pill. You have caffeine pills. Like fifteen bucks at the supplement store for like a thing that lasts a couple years. So, ah, I see. They're useful, like, uh, for for long car rides and stuff, like, if somebody needs to be driving for a long time. Yeah, I've never had one, but it sounds useful. Uh, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I it's the equivalent. I had Go a ahead. roommate, he used to be into, like, his caffeinated gum that apparently the military <laughs> uses, and, um, yeah, it's really strong stuff, like, I, I only had a couple of pieces, but good lord, it could keep me awake all night, just one piece of gum. Wow. Yeah. How um, much does that think, cost? It's pretty expensive, I believe. Mm. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. I think one pill like equates to two small coffees. Wow. You know, I drink like coffee when you can just inject caffeine directly. <laughs> <in my shit. laughs> I got afraid for a minute. I hear a bomb siren outside, and I was like, wait a minute, what's going on? But I forgot there's a game going on. Marshall's having a football game. So oh. I thought, like, the time had finally come, and, like, <laughs> but, yeah, but, yeah, but we're, we're good. Oh. False alarm. <laughs> All right. All right, so I'm going to rant real quick. <laughs> um, uh, Raichu is BS on Pokemon Shuffle. I can't do this. I've been playing it uh, consistently for a while. Um, Pokemon Shuffle released on the Japanese App Store like not too long ago, and I didn't realize it was just the Japanese App Store for a while. It's now on the U.S. App Store as well, but uh, I got a head start on my friends, so I felt rather uh, accomplished, I guess. And now we're all playing it. Uh, Shout out. Um, if any of you guys want to get Pokemon Shuffle on the iOS, feel free. You can send me. I'm looking at it up now. Yeah. Uh, we... Don't you guys read the news articles that it takes me like an hour to make <laughs> each one? I yeah, yeah, that's why yeah. I'm helping you out, Zach. I'm shouting <laughs> out. Often I checked Poke Cheats last week, like twice. <laughs> Dad, general advertisement. Boom, boom. I'm currently stuck. Shuffle. Shoot this App stage. Store. I mean, I don't <laughs> have. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't have um shuffle or anything, but isn't it pretty? Like, it's got it's those annoying free. free-to-play features, like like refer a friend and to get bonus oh. whatever. Well, if you add someone on Facebook, you can send mini hearts, yes, and that lets you play more. Oh, yes. I am. Um, anyone on Facebook to know that I'm playing Pokemon Shuffle? It, Are you, you kidding me? I don't, think it, okay. I don't think it becomes public on Facebook, actually. Like, I don't mind sharing that. Because I went on Facebook and did it, and I can't find it anywhere on my Facebook that I'm connected to Pokemon Shuffle. And it doesn't post on your Facebook or anything. But if you if your friends are playing, then you can see what stage yeah. they last played and whatnot. But... Well, I guess that's fine. My thing is, it's just like, I have a bunch of... like Basically, the only people that I'm friends with that actually use Facebook regularly are like my distant relatives who are significantly older than me who are like... The internet is evil, like... Ooh, yeah, like, like unless Facebook they also stuff. play Pokemon Shuffle, they wouldn't be able to see that you play Pokemon Shuffle. 
And if well, they do, you're... then you'd have blackmail on them, I guess. So. Well, you're like that on Twitter, Marissa, and I think Jasmine's like that to a lesser extent as well, where they like, where you pretend like you're normal and don't have all these nerdy <laughs> hobbies. Yeah, that's me on Facebook. That's not me on Twitter. <laughs> not you on Twitter. That's why, that's why I run the Squadcast Twitter, because I just like post memes. <laughs> I think that's that's that system. Yeah, it's your I escape. the Slowpoke song three times, I think. That's great. Wait, what's yeah. my Twitter feed? Slow, slow, slow. Yeah, see, I, uh... I definitely use my Facebook like that. I just post like some things and everyone likes it. And I'm like, yeah, I'm normal, quote unquote. Validation. And then uh, on Twitter, I'm just like, wow, that's a kawaii desu. And uh, it's great. So, all right, I just beat Litwick in like three turns. I better have gotten an S rank on this. Is I have like a couple of people... Like, uh, like a couple of like, professors and stuff that have Twitters that follow me. So, like, mm. I can post nerdy stuff, but I don't want to be like, fucking ashes and the beep beep and the beep beep. Button. Well, I don't do that normally <laughs> anyway, but... <laughs> <laughs> she, wants, she wants to impersonate Bill Cosby, so... Yeah. <laughs> But oh that would also be inappropriate at this point. So. <laughs> oh god! I have my professors on Facebook and whatnot, and generally people I know IRL I have on Facebook. People I follow on Twitter are people I don't actually know, so it's okay. Oh, but, thanks. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> other than like you guys, I know you guys, but like the mo- vast majority is like you know, re- like people I have no idea who they are. They're like five people from high school that I still have on, and there are you guys, and then there's, like, new... Anime yeah. dating tips. Yes, anime dating advice. <laughs> I still consider unfollowing it, but I haven't yet. Um, yeah, but Twitter's where I usually just go to uh, escape from the normal show I, I put on on Facebook of being not strange. And sure odd. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically. So, hmm. All right, I ran out of hearts on Pokemon Shuffle. And so Twitter and Facebook. and uh, That's actually what I've been doing a lot during class, too, because I have two freemium games that I play, and then I have Twitter. So I check those while I'm waiting between classes for, like, 15 minutes. I have Love Live still, and then there's uh, Pokemon Shuffle now. How has your life Twitter. changed since you got that Nico card? Um, well, I don't think I've gotten lower than first place in the score match when it's a pure song yet. So, uh, that, that so helps. There you go. So, I have three Nikos on my pure team still, so I feel, uh, yeah, it's, it's you purest. Fulfilling. Yes. <laughs> the, the, the attributes are smile, cute, smile, cool, and pure, and I'm trash at cool. I'm not cool at all. It's like real life. But then there's like There's pure. nothing pure about those girls. Hey, well, yeah. But <laughs> I mean, I can't yeah. Uh, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> um oh well. But yeah. What do you do waiting for class, Jocelyn? Let me see. Between my first classes, I usually just go sit by myself. Because it's usually open. Yeah. And then between my second and third class, I usually just talk to people that I'm in classes with. That's usually my go-to. I just catch up. Yeah. I actually have a lot of classes with people I know this time around because I scheduled it that way. Before, I just would be the only person in there. Yeah. Uh, but... Yeah, when I was taking classes with like people that were in my major for, like, core classes and whatnot, I would talk to them, but I don't like most of them, but I just put up a charade yeah. of pleasantness. Yeah, that's my go-to thing. <laughs> but Pretend yeah, to not funny. hate the world. <clears throat> it's so huge. embarrassing. Alright, this is a little off-tangent, but it's like so embarrassing when you go into class the next day and you like see those people at the bar and they make like rude comments about you towards it. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> what? <just> like... <laughs> Not Wait, what's comments, happening but... in your life? <laughs> so... This was last year, something this year. No. Yeah. So wait, you'd like see? Why yeah, would I, they? I go, I go to the bar and then go to class the next day. Yeah. Right. 
and then I would see those people at the bar and in class. And they'd like be and mean to you like, or something? No, they just announced the entire class, like, oh, Jocelyn's doing so and so, and they like all be like, woo! Jocelyn started uh, drinking straight fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I, I just like, well, it was a small class, and we, we would all like joke around and stuff. Hey, at least you don't have, like, a problem of looking like you're cool. That That's good, at least. It's like, woo, that guy's nose has stuff. That's good, at yeah. least, right? I think, uh, I think just, you're it's... being bullied. Yeah, man. <laughs> I, get, I get bullied five days a week by you and Hearthstone. <laughs> oh, God. You get bodied by me. <laughs> what rank are you, and how much have you been playing? I only like rank six right now, or something. <laughs> You're fucking yeah. disgusting. Get out of my way. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, back to school. Yeah, so you should just talk to people in between classes. Yeah, um, because I have like one hour between, like, not even like an hour, I have like 30 minutes between, uh, between one of my lectures and like my lab. So I just go down to like, uh, go, go down to Campus Town, and then, like, well, there's, like, a tea shop that just opened up. It's a, it, it's a chain called Cha Time. So I just go there and just order something and just drink, and then, like, just walk back with my drink. It's, like, <laughs> takes about an hour. That's fair. Yeah, tea houses slash tea shops. It's not, it's, it's like, it's like, it's just, it's just a straight-up bubble tea shop. So it's just, oh. so it's nothing but bubble Oh, the bubble tea oh, stuff. Bubble tea, yeah. like different type, different type of that stuff. Oh, I need that in my room. <laughs> so I, I need. I love bubble tea. Like a bubble it's, tea. It's dispenser. so weird because, like, because like just last year there was like no bubble tea places on campus, but then like over the summer, like three of them just opened. Oh. So I'm like, wait, when did this happen? <laughs> and and the funny yeah, thing is, like, I was on campus over the summer anyway. It was like, I didn't even see this happen. <laughs> just overnight. It's like. It's like in the two weeks that I was back home in New Jersey, like, they just opened, like, three tea places on campus. I have no idea. Yeah. yeah, that's the problem with, like, my campus is very isolated. Like, it's sort of up on this hill in a kind of residential area. So there isn't a lot of shopping nearby. It's not like we're, oh, in the middle of downtown and, like, we can just, like, go walk 10 feet. Like, like we could take a bus for 15 minutes, but, like... There's not a convenient place that doesn't require taking transport or walking 30 minutes. So it's sort of like, Yes. Mario. Where's Mega? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, where's Mega when you need him? Uh, that's his brand now. His is we visualize him with Mario and Waluigi. But... Oh, I was thinking of it. That works too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, all the, it's all about the Malamar. <laughs> Malamar. Now you got a nice meme now that I've done my fan to Malamar impression. <laughs> Appears, oh, disappears. Malamar. The most evil <laughs> Pokemon villain of all time. Yeah. Exactly. That episode is. Uh, it's something else. Yeah, man, there's a second episode. There's a sequel. What? Oh, what the? Yeah, <laughs> no sorry scrubbers. for this. I meant to tell you guys this, but it slipped my mind. <laughs> I was, so I'm telling I was, you now. I was, like, pretty pretty into the idea of evil Officer Denny. Like, rogue <laughs> Officer Denny. Spoilers? <laughs> <laughs> She's being mind it's controlled by Mal Mar. Oh, you know that's what I hate. I wish more characters turned evil, like just for the fun of it or for some other real reason, but they don't. Like, <laughs> guys, plot twist for the Squirtle Squad cast. I'm evil now. No, like, <laughs> like, like <laughs> I hate that because sometimes someone's just like evil. And it's like, oh, and then they're just mind controlled, and it's like. Oh. No, it was really oh. cool because, like, there was these terrorism masks going on. Spoilers, by the way, if you haven't watched the Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> That's, like, an oldish episode for this season. Like, and then yeah. it's revealed to be Officer Jenny, and that's, like, if you've ever watched the show, that's, like, actually surprising. <laughs> You're like, what? What the hell did they know? It's Bear and the evil Bear. Bear Bear is just an evil Pokemon. Yeah, and he like almost like, he almost destroyed the world. It's crazy. Yeah, plotting world domination. And then, and then at the end of the episode, Team Rocket all look at it because they have the little. 
How can I have AK? And he's just like evil laughing or something. <laughs> Uh, well, because oh, Malamar no. looks straight up evil, but Inke is like, hee hee! <laughs> like, it doesn't look mean. Sometimes it's the cutest ones that are the true evil. I think my favorite part about James is Inke, that he arrives Inke with everything. <laughs> it's great. Okay, Inke. <laughs> yeah, pretty, pretty much. Wow. wow. Sounds like a I'm case. gay, Inke. It's two day, basically. Yeah. There was an episode where, like, he almost had an arranged marriage in the original series. I still remember that one fondly. Yeah, he hated Jezebel. her or whatever. Yeah, yeah he did not like right? Jezebel. Isn't that what the? Is it the same one with the sad Growlithe story? Yes. Yeah, that's why they ran away, right? Mama, Jezebel. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Oh. Feels. I cried so much watching Pokemon anime back the day. Like, <laughs> just I, I don't think there's ever been a Pokemon movie that I haven't cried while watching. Yeah, I mean, like Celebi for for I mean, uh, Pokemon Forever was pretty sad. <laughs> well, they just like like you always know that things will turn out okay, but it's still like no, like I can't believe you turned to stone or like gonna fall off a cliff. Like in space now. Yeah, I agree with Freaking that. Freaking rude. <laughs> uh, oh no, we're gonna have to watch a show about Brock and Missy. That would be terrible. <laughs> that would be amazing, like buddy cop Brock and Missy. <laughs> I would have, that, that'd be Pokemon like the perfect. Chronicles. Yeah, I really liked Pokemon oh, Chronicles, no me lie. Me too. I, like, I could never find like that show always aired at like weird times though like it the normal one was always on at like saturday at nine or whatever but pokemon chronicles it was like when like i will try to tivo like, this Wednesday like Wednesday at noon <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah i remember like a month ago i sent zach a youtube channel at all the pokemon chronicle episodes but he never responded back to me so i'm calling you out right now Did you send that to <laughs> yeah i sent it to you privately <laughs> sorry i have you blocked no i don't <laughs> Are you kidding oh, me? Drop. There's no way you have to block. Let me check. Oh, you did send this to me. <laughs> and then you asked me if I watched part two of Misty, and I said, yeah. <laughs> and then you told me I should make it alarm a block, drew a deck, I'm like, no. Oh, wait. <laughs> That's basically our, our private Skype history for the past month. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you should do it. Wild Evangelion like Ryan that episode. So if you like that kind of stuff, you should watch it. I recommend it. That's an interesting dude. word. It part was like your life story. Interesting. Yeah, part two is so much better than part one, though, dude. <laughs> I can't watch. Man, like I can't watch. You can't oh, watch no. it, did you say? Well, I can't watch it because I, I can't. can't stand Jasmine's voice. I still voice, need so to I record my segment, but like Jasmine oh. has been withholding episode three, and like I'm not sure whether I'm waiting for him or whether he's waiting for me. <laughs> Do you have but, a game on yeah. her? Yeah, I have it. I'm just lazy and have other things I'd rather do. Oh my gosh. I mean, it does take like a freaking hour to do, but... <laughs> oh, it takes like three yeah. hours to do. What are you talking about? Sorry, it took me an hour and I had... Even though my well, you... video is only like ten minutes. Well, yeah, like the easiest part though. <laughs> well, it's like 25 minutes because you used speed up. But yeah. otherwise... Because Jossum didn't, I don't think, use speed he up. Did. Yeah. And oh, he did like... afterwards. <laughs> Oh, you did in part three? Well, he didn't in episode. Well, I don't, I don't know. I haven't seen two. No, I didn't use space bar at all. Yeah. I mean, we could always make this an interesting, like, out of chronological order with different broadcast order. And, like, Erica's gym part is uploaded next. And then we go back to, like, Marissa. Well, and I then we do like, Blaine. Finished. And then. Well, how yeah, do you go I, backwards? Because I would have to play through mine. Like, I'm not going to play through it without recording it and then, like, send it and then, like, record it afterwards like that. Have you seen that video where the guy just mispronounces, like, all the races of Star Wars? Yeah. I, 
I have. That's, that's my new favorite video. It's really good. Gender uh, Master Podcast. <laughs> Holy shit. But yeah. Oh yeah, like yesterday I was sitting here and like our walls here in the dorm are made of like cinder block. So you can't usually hear people in the room next to you. But I distinctly heard someone watching A New Hope. But I didn't get mad because I was like, oh, they're watching Star Wars. It's fine. And then, like, it Dude, turns out they were... This is my favorite movie. No, it turns out they were uh, marathoning the series. So, like, yeah. I heard a lot of Star Wars that day. <laughs> I don't mind, but it's just really funny. It cause... could be worse. Like, I had an ex door neighbor <laughs> once in my apartment who, like, for some reason liked to listen to Wrecking Ball by Miley Cyrus literally 50 (laughs) times a day. Oh, now that is pretty bad. I had had to knock on her door once and say, I'm sorry, I need to sleep. Can you please turn down your Miley Cyrus? (laughs) No, last year, the the guy who's next door to me played the I'm in love with the (laughs) Coco. Have you listened to that song on two times speed? No. I'm in love with the Coco. Do that sometime. Yeah. Yeah. It's very psychedelic for me. (laughs) Psychedelic. (laughs) Oh, God. Yeah, it was that and playing League of Legends is all they did. Let's just play that song and play League of Legends. That sounds accurate. Are they bronze? Probably. Probably, Yeah. They seem to get really mad, so. Oh, probably silver then. Oh, yeah. They're moving on up. Uh, yeah, bronze players are like, Haha, I'm so bad, this is amazing, but silver players are like, <laughs> why can't my team be good? Yeah. Silver players are so tired for some reason. Hashtag unranked. I, I considered the staying there. I should have, probably. But now, next time, next season, I can have a fancy silver outline on my profile, so. Well, you lost me there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think this is too deep for our viewers. Three deep, five me. Gosh. Well, because it's too deep, I think it's a good time to stop this cut. <laughs> it's too deep for us, so we have to object. But thank you all for watching this part, and we'll talk to you next time. Don't forget to like, slash, comment, slash, subscribe. And do watch, if you're interested in whatever we're playing, watch our other videos. And even if you aren't interested, give it a watch anyway, because we can make them really interesting. So and send uh, all of our videos to your friends. For yes. some reason, I don't know why you would, but <laughs> so well, I mean, like who else? Well, it's really fun to watch someone awkwardly play through a mid mediocre JRPG while someone else laughs at them. I mean, another three. Yeah. <laughs> 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 on that. Or if you, or if you like Minecraft, I already finished the series, but you guys can watch all twenty episodes now. So you can that. marathon it's, it in one go. Three. It's so. not even, with no charge, no down payment. Yeah, Your this ain't Netflix. Netflix. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Yeah.